Good morning, good morning. Welcome to Escape Forever Free. You are about to join us for our one hour alone time with God. So this is your kickstart to get you into that habit. Here at Escape, we are working together to restore physical, mental, spiritual, and social wholeness. I'm your girl, Faith. Thanks for joining us. Do stay and keep this good company. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for another day that we can come before you to spend alone time. As each person invests in this one hour, each time of the day that they chose to spend time with seeking after your face, please show all light that is necessary for them to fulfill, to fulfill their greatest need and to, their greatest needs and to save them in your kingdom, I beg in Jesus' name. Amen. So this morning's devotional is coming to us from Maranatha again before let's do our memory text. Our memory text is from St. Matthew 28 and verse 20. And it says, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. St. Matthew 28 verse 20 teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. St. Matthew 28 verse 20, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. St. Matthew 28 and verse 20, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. May God help us to recall when he chooses for us to use this to edify our souls, other souls, and glorify his name. We're going to our devotional reading entitled Twofold Life twofold life the key text for this morning's maranatha reading comes from first john 1 and verse 3 and it reads that which we have seen and heard declare we unto you that ye also may have fellowship with us and truly our fellowship is with the father and with his son jesus christ Nothing is more needed in our work than the practical results of communion with God. We should show by our daily lives that we have peace and rest in the Savior. His peace in the heart will shine forth in the countenance. Communion with God will en communion with God, sorry, will ennoble the character and the life. Men will take knowledge of us as of the first disciples that we have been with Jesus. This will impart to the worker a power that nothing else can give. Of this power, he must know, not allow himself to be deprived. We must live a twofold life, a life of thought and action, of silent prayer and earnest work all who are under the training of god need the quiet hour of communion with their own hearts with nature and with god we must individually hear him speaking to the heart when every other voice is hushed and in the quietness we wait before him the silence of the soul makes more distinct the voice of God. He bids us, quote unquote, be still and know that I am God. This is the effectual preparation for all labor for God. Amidst the hurrying throng and the strain of life's intense activities, he who, he who is thus refreshed will be surrounded with an atmosphere of light and peace. 
he will receive a new endowment of both physical and mental strength. His life will breathe out a fragrance and will reveal a, a divine power that will reach men's hearts. Many, even in their seasons of devotion, fail of receiving the blessing of real communion with God. They are in too great haste. With horrid steps, they press through the circle of Christ's loving presence, pausing perhaps a moment within the sacred precincts, but not waiting for the council. They have no time to remain with the divine teacher. With their burdens, they return to their work. These workers can never attain the highest success until they understand and learn the secret of strength. They must give themselves time, time to think, time to pray, time to wait upon God for a renewal of physical, mental, and spiritual power. They need the uplifting influence of His Holy Spirit. Receiving this, they will be quickened by fresh life. Amen. The twofold life calls us to live what we preach and what we believe, but it also calls us to tap into connection with the divine. The physical being in it and of itself cannot accomplish the things that will make us worthy for entry into heaven, nor can it equip itself for the power that is needed to truly draw and point men to Jesus Christ in the numbers that are necessary as we come to these last days especially. So we must position ourselves to, reveal, to receive the divine connection from heaven so that divine can combine with human and power and virtue can be released and merge with our efforts to truly help us to live that twofold life of divine directed of human directed by divine to wrought great things upon this earth this is your challenge this morning I pray that you truly give it consideration and seek and f and search and find out how it is that you can position yourself to access this merger of divine with your human. We sing meditational song to take us into thought for that. Number 260 from the hymnal, Hoover or me, Holy Spirit. Over me, Holy Spirit, bathe my trembling heart and brow. Fill me with thy hallowed presence. Come, oh come and fill me now. Fill me now. Oh, 
Holy and righteous Father, we pray that as we fall before you now, you will hear the desires of our heart. And may each person who have heard these truths, this light, and have been inspired to take it upon themselves in prayer and decision in their hearts and mind to come to you for you to teach them how to live the twofold life that you call us to live. Not a double minded life, not a procrastinating life, not a a living for two masters twofold, but a twofold father that allows divine to combine with human. Father, prepare us mentally, spiritually, and physically to receive this endowment. I pray, God, that all persons who in the hearing of this prayer are in agreement to ask of and receive this endowment will, Father, be granted it. Father, have mercy upon us and help us, Father, as we work out our salvation with fear and trembling to receive all that we need from heaven to also do the work that you have given us to do to save others so that when we enter in to the new Jerusalem, we will truly have treasures stored up with us to give to you. Have your own sweet way and save us, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for joining us. I pray that you'll truly commit to being fully possessed and allow the divine to merge and release virtue within us, the human. Walk good, but above all, walk with God. Let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Amen.